Hey y'all, how's it going? As you can see, I'm out and about. I'm at one of my favorite places, the potting shed. I'm gonna see what goodies I can find today. A squint. <laughs> Right, well, I got a few things. This is new. Southern Living Cordy Line. And it is a perennial and it is supposed to stay purple year round. So I've got some pots. Is this like lemon coral sedum here? I know it's a, di it's a different japonica, but can it take uh, sun? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love the sun. All right. And then I got me some cool little house plants. And this is a new one for him. It's called a ZZ plant. And I think I found a perfect little planter inside. I'm gonna put that on top of the mantle. All right. You might find it hard to believe, but I have not had any living house plants. We have such low lighting that I've just never bothered to try. So, on the mantle here, I replaced a fake flower with a ZZ plant, Zamioculcus zamiofolia. You can see why they call it ZZ plant. Apparently, it is extremely hardy and a popular indoor favorite. On this antique piece of furniture behind our couch, I had another faux plant and it was definitely time to replace it. I found a really interesting um, container with a built-in saucer at Lowe's and I replaced it with three really pretty ferns. I think my favorite in that is the button fern. Wasn't that a neat place? I just love the potting shed. In fact, I just had to make an extra trip. Well, guess what? Back. Actually, it's not flowers. It's sedum. I bet they like seeing me pull in. So now I'm back home. It's actually thundering southwest of us, which is music to my ears. We have not had rain, real rain, in two or three weeks. It's been really dry. So hopefully I'll get these things planted, and maybe when I'm finished, we'll have a nice little rainstorm come through. So, uh, right here is one already planted up. Isn't it gorgeous? I just think that this is such beautiful contrast between the limey green sedum and the purple grassy foliage here. I think it's just a great fall planter. Now, right now, um, they don't have pansies in yet, probably into September, early October. So I'm going to see how this grows and I might add a few little pansies around the perimeter of this purple grassy looking thing. And actually, I mentioned it when I was at the potting shed. This is a new Southern Living Plant collection called Designer Line and it's called Cordy Line. It's brand new. It is a grass. It's also considered a ground cover. It's a perennial. It gets about three feet tall and three feet wide, which honestly, it's kind of close to that right now. Um, one really cool thing is that it will take either full sun all the way to part shade, which is exactly what I've got going on where these go. These two pots go on either side of our stone steps that kind of go up toward our chicken coop and hopefully our future greenhouse i'm hoping for that this winter it takes low water that's nice too because so does the sedum it wouldn't work well with the sedum if what i had in the middle needed a whole lot of water it's hardy down to 10 degrees fahrenheit to 20 degrees fahrenheit and it's usda zones 8 to 11 and 
Not only does it have the outstanding color habit of staying this color all year long, but in the summer it has these tiny little white blossoms. So whether or not I keep them in these pots the whole time, uh, I'm not sure, but they are perennials, so I can always pop them out and put them in a landscape bed. You know, maybe that one that I'm hoping for around the future greenhouse. The sedum, it looks very much similar anyway to lemon coral, but this is a japonicum and it is called Tokyo Sun. So let me get this potted up. These pots, these little urns, I've had them for quite some time. And um, they're getting a little ratty looking. I probably need to paint them black, spray paint them, but I just didn't want to take the time. There's some cracks in them too, so I'm really not sure how long they're going to last. This root ball was pretty tall for these, so I took a good bit of the potting mix off so that they would sit right and flush. That looks good. And of course, while I was at the potting shed, I bought some more things. So if it doesn't rain on me, well, all the rest of the things are things that are going on the front porch. Can you tell I'm ready for fall? All the spring summer things were looking a little sad. So it's time to freshen things up a bit. Hope I had that centered. Now with these sedums, they only get about one to two inches tall. They get up to uh, eight to 12 inches wide. So honestly, I really wouldn't need to be planting them these close, as closely together as I am, but I like, I like it to look full all the time. So that's why I'm doing such close plantings here, which is why I had to go back and get more. Oh, and you might be able to see my little project here. I told you I'd have a video of it, and I actually did do a video of making this, but I haven't loaded it yet because I'm waiting on Randy to have some time and some energy to make me an easel for it, like he did for our son's wedding. And he did mention that um, he's found some trees he wants to use. By the way, with sedum, if any of it breaks off, you can just put it right in there in the soil and eventually it will root. So I will go put these in place. It's getting overcast, so I probably need to hurry and show you what it looks like. So what do you think? Aren't they sweet? They really will look pretty when the sun's out. Well, my next little project is up here on the porch, but it's so dark right now that I think I'm going to save that for another day and another video. So I'm going to be filling this planter. It needs new potting mix and refreshing and two pots that are on the ground close to it. So that's it for now. And remember, bye and have a good.